Hi. In this video, I'm going to talk about the functional cortical anatomy of the medial aspect of a hemisphere of the brain. So I'll just draw the brain up quickly. And on this surface of the brain, there are many different areas and quite a bit of detail. And around the periphery of this aspect, we'll see many features that are wrapped from the lateral side of the brain onto the medial side of the brain. But first I'll start off by labelling the third ventricle here in the centre. And here is a large white matter tract that connects the two hemispheres of the brain known as the corpus callosum. Now above the third ventricle is the fornix, which is a smaller white matter tract. And then between that and the corpus callosum is the septum pellucidum, and that lies between the two lateral ventricles. Now up here we have the primary somatosensory cortex. So that's Brodmann areas 2, 1, and 3. And we saw this on the lateral aspect of the brain. And so here it is wrapping over onto the medial aspect. Here we have Brodmann area 5, and that's the association somatosensory cortex. Now here is the primary motor cortex, and this is an extension of Brodmann 4, which also wraps around from the lateral to medial aspects of the hemisphere. Here is Brodmann area 6. This is the premotor cortex. And then Brodmann area 8, which is the frontal eye fields. And these are important for eye movement. Brodmann area 9 is the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex which is important in motor planning. Brodmann area 10 lies anteriorly, and this is the anterior prefrontal cortex, which is thought to be a centre of higher cognition. Inferiorly, we have the orbitofrontal area, this is Brodmann area 11. And this is thought to be involved in planning and decision making. Now back at the top, we have Brodmann area 7, which is the somatosensory association centre. Now down the back, we meet three very familiar Brodmann areas. 17, 18, and 19. And these are the same as their lateral counterparts. So 17 is the primary visual cortex, also known as V1. Then we have V2 and V3 for 18 and 19, respectively. Down here, just below the uncus, is the piriform cortex. And this plays a role in olfaction, or the sense of smell. And behind that is the parahippocampal gyrus. And that's believed to be involved in memory. Now, 
up here is a, a three areas in the cingulate cortex, area 24, 33, and 32. And these make up the anterior cingulate cortex, which is an area believed to be involved in empathy and emotion. Now this is an exhaustive list of the Brodmann areas and the functions of this part of the cortex, but it's a comprehensive overview of the functional cortical anatomy of this surface of the brain. For more free tutorials and the PDF for this tutorial, visit www.handwrittentutorials.com.